we've um, today we've decided to pop to the roaches um, on the uh, the borders of the Peak District. Um, I think it's just on the border of uh, Derbyshire and Staffordshire. I've uh, been here once before and the weather's exactly the same, rainy, but it is supposed to clear. Hopefully it will clear quick enough before we'll need to go again. Um, so I'm just going to get ready to go a, a walk up the hill, up to the ridge. And a little explore while it's wet. Um, it's a very popular place for walkers. Uh, it's um, it's got fantastic views, vistas. As I think there's a little bit of little bit of woodland up there as well, which I'm, I didn't go last time. Which I'm going to have a look at this time, um, especially while it's drizzling and wet. Go and have a look at that area. Um, let's see if I can find any compositions. And I'm hoping to catch it when. The uh, this weather front passes through, and uh, the sun hopefully pops back out again uh, to make some nice um, dramatic photography. Um, I think that's the plan. So um, I'm going to just trim my gear down a bit so I don't have to carry so much weight as I always do. So I'll we'll take me my lighter tripod, which is here. I'll take that coop. Um, it's a nice little tripod. It's not windy, so I've not got to take my big heavy one. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, get a nice landscape shot. Not looking good at the minute, though. Like I say, it is supposed to. Supposed to change. I was hoping to get a nice, um, see what sort of type of flowers are up there, and try and get a flower in the foreground. There's a bit of foreground interest if there's anything up there. Um, photos like that. See if there's. Uh, you could see the the mist on top of the ridge, but um, that's where they'll be. So that's um, not great. And then we've got the reservoir in the distance behind us. So hopefully there might be something. Right, I'm going to get ready get some gear together and um, that dog out for a walk. Another excuse for a dog walk I think. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Guys. Better you. Right, we walked through the the wooded area of the, uh, which is just down below the top of the ridge. Um, looks like very misty, very murky at the minute. I'm hoping that I can find some compositions and things will change, um, so I can get. Uh, something of interest uh, I might even try a bit of ICM even though I'm seriously 50-50 on it I can't, I can't make my mind up at all so if I try it can make my mind up. Um, so we'll see about that. Seriously, not convinced anyway. Um, but I'm sure that people have done it and done it for a fair while uh, can get some fantastic images. Just not sure if that's for me. Like saying, until you try it, you don't know. I'm going to carry on walking, get that dog walked, which is what I've come out for. 
and uh, see what happens along the way. Oh dear, it's definitely still brought too much gear. Definitely. That must be bad. Okay, I've done the primary job of taking the dog walk. So, um, I'm gonna walk around. Can't say anything because it's so misty. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, is potentially get a misty shot down in the uh, wooded area. Um, I think because we've up that little bit higher, that, that uh, sort of misty cloud is hanging onto the, the ridge line here. So I'm gonna drop down a little bit again. Um, weather doesn't look great for a couple of hours which means I might might just move on I can't get an image or call it a day but I'm going to uh, certainly going to try um, down in the, the wooded area because it is a nice nice trees and that's if I can find select something and find something any interest okay right I found a uh, composition and it's one of a, a lonely tree and we've got the the reservoir behind us uh, behind the tree sorry so what I'm gonna do I'll have a um, have a little look at that composition which I quite like um, probably focus stack it uh, have a little look at that it's quite still very 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 damp and dank so uh, I'm sort of trying to bide my time um, got a lot of foxgloves around me so I might be able to incorporate one of them within the photo um, and just in front of me is some yellow flower. I might be able to just got that. So I'm just going to try and find them. Probably a foreground interest. If not, I'll get me seventy to two hundred on and make the the tree the foreground interest. So that's the plan there. Can't believe how boggy the ground is where I am. So we'll just go a little walk round, try and find that exact composition that I like, and then. We'll grab a photo. Right, I've, uh, I've changed to my 70 to 200. Got the lonely tree. I've also done a focus, a stack of it with a little bit of foreground interest. Um, like I said, I was going to. I think I'm going to call this one a day since it's just not stopped drizzle. Um, I'll give it time. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Uh, probably got one image which I'll put up um, but still enjoyed it dogs enjoyed it I know as soon as I pull away from me in the next half hour it'll probably be sunshine bright and lovely because that's the way it goes um, but for me I've had a couple hours up there, another scout for another day I suppose, and uh, like I say, I've still got the one gloomy image, and I will probably, if I see anything on the way back, I will pull over, um, but without it, um, so I'm off, thanks for subscribing, I hope you enjoyed this very sort of quickish vlog, I'm shame it's not a that uh, bright weather's come out so we could uh, get that front as it went through, which I was looking for. Um, and I'll grab myself some sweet and then I'm going to head off home um, and plan the next expedition. So thank you very much, see you later.